Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Bookmas Day 7. Merry Bookmas! I'm Oshale and this is Oshi Reads and in today's video we're going to be talking about some last minute bookish gift ideas. Now Christmas is less than a week away and you know sometimes we still haven't chosen that gift for the book lover that we know or the wannabe book lover that we know and so I wanted to talk about some ideas that I have for gifts that you could gift to your special someone, friend, or a loved one. Now while I was doing research for this video I found that there's a lot out there in terms of resources. There are a lot of bookish gift guides that you guys can easily find if you just google it and you will find so many amazing items that you can give the book lover or wannabe book lover in your life. But what I found interesting is that all of these gift guides emphasized material possessions and physical gifts over experiences. And I haven't really seen a bookish gift guide that encourages experiences and so voila! Here you are. You're welcome. Thank me later. Not to mention if you're watching this and you still haven't purchased the bookish gift for your book lover or wannabe book lover in your life then this is kind of last minute and it might take a while for anything to be shipped to your home unless you have Amazon Prime or you pay exorbitant amounts for overnight shipping. So hopefully this helps someone out. Now as a rule when it comes to giving gifts, I prize experiences over physical gifts. Especially as we get older and we're all able to purchase you know whatever it is that we want for ourselves unless there's something of sentimental value that you really want to give someone that is a material possession maybe a first edition Ooh, ah yes like if you track down the first edition of their favorite novel or if you purchase a special edition of their favorite novel or their favorite series or a signed copy signed by the author now these definitely are going to hold sentimental value to the person that you are gifting them to but as a rule of thumb I prize experiences over material gifts and what I mean by experiences are you know you can get really creative with things for example if you know that this book lover or wannabe book lover in your life <laughs> wannabe book lover hey they exist there's always people that add on their you know New Year's resolutions that they want to read more you know, you can gift people like that the gift of reading. Like Audible now has, you know, an option where you can gift a whole year, up to a whole year. I think it's three months, six months, or a whole year of an Audible subscription to someone, which is amazing because if you have someone in your life who is more on the wannabe book lover side, then, you know, they may not necessarily be comfortable sitting down with a big hefty book or even a small book and turning the pages you know maybe one of their excuses is oh I don't know when I'll find the time I'm so busy and you know people have other responsibilities and children and work and careers and a lot of these people you know these are their excuses they don't have time and they have other responsibilities and they feel guilty taking the time out for themselves to open up a book um hello audible audiobooks is the perfect solution for these types of book love issues you can gift them. the pleasure of reading and that time to do it as well because with audible you can pretty much read or listen to a book while you're doing anything while you're making lunches for your kids while you are walking the dog while you are doing chores while you are working out while you are cooking dinner for your family while you are you know riding public transport on the way to work while you're in your car driving to work audible is perfect for people who feel like they don't have time to read and they almost feel guilty by taking the time to read, gift them the gift of Audible. Another amazing gift for, I would say, more towards the already a book lover side is all of these book subscription boxes are perfect. A really popular one now that I'm seeing all over Instagram is Book of the Month. So I believe it's one of those book subscription boxes but I'm not quite sure why this one is different. I think it's geared towards more adult books, the book of the month, and I think they have like 
different books that you can choose from. I think they give you like five books and you pick which one you want. I'm not 100% sure, but they do pop up all the time on my Instagram and I have clicked on it, although I haven't really read through it or lingered too much on the page. It's actually something that I'm contemplating gifting myself this year for Christmas is the book of the month subscription box that one in particular because I feel from what I've seen it's geared towards more adult reads and I'm trying to get back more into adult books so I say all of that to say that it's a perfect gift and it's set up in a similar way to audible that you can gift I believe the lowest is three months or you can give six months or you can gift 12 months a full year so that is a great idea now more towards the full-on experiences side is you can gift a trip this one to me is brilliant for example if you have a book lover who is obsessed with let's say the harry potter series you can gift them a trip to the harry potter theme park at universal studios why wouldn't you it's a perfect gift and not to mention you could enjoy it as well if you're also a fan and therefore you have gifted someone a priceless memory that they will have forever and they will never forget that amazing experience. You can also gift a trip in the sense of you can pretty much purchase a ticket to the setting of someone's favorite novel. I know Twilight is set in Forks, Washington, and I believe they have a town in Washington that is either Forks, Washington itself, I don't know if that town really exists, or if it is the town that Forks Washington was based off of in the Twilight books. And they have set it up for visitors and lovers of Twilight to go and visit and enjoy. And there are landmarks and sightseeing and just really interesting and cool facts. So that could be cool. I don't know a lot of people that are still obsessed with Twilight, but this is just an example. You know, it could be anything really. If someone's favorite novel is set in France or, or Scotland or anywhere, you can save up the money and really invest in taking a trip with your loved one or just gifting them a trip and really creating that memory for them, that priceless memory and basically letting them have an experience that is going to be life changing and be so much deeper than just giving them a physical item. I also believe in getting creative with your gifts. If you are going to give a physical item, a material item, then get creative and do something special. I remember a good friend of mine was telling me one year that her husband was really obsessed with this one novel. I can't remember the name of the novel, so I'm so sorry. But in this particular novel, and it was a fiction novel, the novel was annotated um, with recipes, really special, intriguing recipes. And so what my friend did is she went through the novel, gathered all the recipes, and put together a special cookbook where she actually prepared all the meals first to make sure that all the ingredients would work out and everything would come out, you know, tasting edible. And then she photographed the meals and made her own cookbook and even went as far as to go to a printing company and have all the photos professionally made and printed and all of the writing bound together into a cookbook that she made him and to this day he said it's the best gift he's ever received. So if you are going to do a material item or you know something physical get creative really start thinking about what it is about a particular novel that this individual likes what is it is you know about their favorite book or their favorite series and really find a way to pull from that to make it something special and memorable something one of a kind that they can't buy in a store Ooh, I just remembered another gift idea that another really good friend of mine did. Um, it was actually for her cousin, her little cousin. She was obsessed with a book that had a lot of music written within the book. She told me this story, I think, last Christmas when I was trying to think of innovative bookish gifts for book-loving friends of mine. And she told me something she did for her little cousin, which is her little cousin was obsessed with this book that was basically had a soundtrack. You know how authors open up every chapter with a suggested song of what inspired the chapter or in the back they'll have their soundtrack to correlate with all the chapters in the novel or just that they wrote the book to. You know, you know what I'm saying. So what she did is she is a singer. She's been a singer all her life. She's not a professional singer, but she's she sings for fun. She sang in church while we were growing up. We were in the kids' choir together, in the youth choir, and also in school. She sang in the choir at school. So what she did is she basically found all of the music and got a couple of her musical friends together and they made covers to all of the songs in the soundtrack to this book. 
and they made a cute little CD for her cousin and her cousin was so happy she listens to it to this day even though I think she did that like two or three years ago it was 2014 when she made that gift so it was a while back but her little cousin she says anyway still listens to it so something sentimental like that you know so sweet so that's it for this video. I hope this inspired some of you to come up with some original and truly memorable bookish gifts. And I will catch you guys in my next Bookmas video. I hope everything is going well for you all. I hope you are having a good holiday season. I know the holidays can be a very stressful time of year and contrary to popular belief, I know it can be a very sad and depressing and lonely time of year as well. So I am sending all of you good vibes and happiness and well wishes for not only the rest of this holiday season, for all of 2018. And I will catch you guys in my next Bookmas video. I love you all. Take care. Bye. Bye, guys. Chronicles Dorigo's experiences, his fellow prisoners, and those of the Japanese guards. I can already tell that this is going to be a deeply moving and emotional read, and I cannot wait. The next book I want to show you is a book that I purchased a while ago at the book outlet, at the book outlet, <laughs> from book outlet, and this is The Gollum and the Genie. Right on the back here it says it combines the narrative magic of the Arabian Nights with a kind of emotional depth, philosophical seriousness, and